What's up, you guys? Uh, quick video. I was watching a fight, you guys, tonight on DAZN between Sorg Run Risai and uh, Estrada. Estrada won the fight by decision. Um, pretty much outboxed uh, Sorg Run Risai and uh, won, a, won a pretty smooth decision, you know, in my opinion. Um, but I was watching a fight, and I remember watching the first fight. And so Rung Risai is usually fighting Southpaw, at least in the fights that I've seen him fight. And he fought Southpaw in the first fight for the majority of the time. And he was finding much more success in that fight. Uh, I don't know what's up with him. You know, I, I didn't watch the weigh-in, but I remember hearing a commentator saying that uh, he has some trouble making a weight this time. But... He didn't look good at all in this fight. I mean, even from the opening round, Estrada was just outboxing him. He was definitely letting his hands go a lot more than the uh, first fight. Uh, he is the superior boxer between the two. Uh, Rungwe side has the power, obviously. He has a lot of power and everything. Uh, but him fighting orthodox, he didn't look comfortable at any point. He wasn't really doing combinations. You know, I think he's a guy that needs those combinations. And he was just winging large wide so uh, shots throughout the whole fight he was just off the mark a lot and um it wasn't until the very end of the fight when he started fighting uh southpaw in the last couple of, couple of rounds and he was finding some more success there uh strada was being fighting very risky at this point because he was a big um almost getting a shutout and he gave maybe a couple of the last rounds away um, but all in all, I mean, it was a solid fight. I just don't understand. I don't know what's up with, uh, Rungry Sai. He just didn't, he looked off, man. He looked off and he just didn't look into it like that. You know, he didn't look like he wanted to change anything at all. You know, it looked very slow and he looked out of it, man. The punch, the volume was lower. I just, it was just very obvious you know i'm not saying he's the greatest boxer and everything he's far from that uh but he looked bad strada on the hand, other hand looked very good um his timing was great you know he would land some jabs at points would that would leave uh wrongly side very unbalanced uh it was just great chart timing like i like um his straight sharp like shots that he drew you know very very sharp very good timing too. He outboxed him clearly. It was a good performance. It was a decent fight. Decent fight um, on a decent card. You know, some good fights on that card. I didn't watch them all. Um, I did see the Jesse Vargas and Humberto Soto fight, which is another fight where, you know, because of the cut early and the pacing of the fight, I thought Humberto Soto was doing extremely well. You know, I've seen him beat uh, Brandon Reels recently. Um, uh, older guy, but he's still been putting on good performances and up until the point he was hurt in that round, uh, I believe it was the sixth or seventh round, I believe, um, he was doing extremely well, you know, uh, Jesse Vargas is a guy that he starts out very sharp. He, he has a great job. He has one of the best, most underrated jabs out there. Very strong, stiff, sharp, fast jab. I mean, he has one of the best jabs out there. But outside of that, you know, um, straight one-two fighter, uh, not the greatest defense, and if he has some conditioning issues, and I see, I feel like as soon as you get past his jab and his straight right hand, once you get past that and he starts to slow down, you can definitely take over. It's just that Soto got caught with a shot, got rocked, and Jesse took him out, and he needed to because... I tell you, that fight up until that point was very debatable. And for him to have that cut, he needed an opportunity like that. Um, so Jesse pulls off the stoppage win, which is what he needed. Coming off two draws, uh, Delorme, I thought Delorme won that fight. I thought Jesse got a, a gift draw in that fight. I think he got saved. Um, and against Adrian Broner, that's another fight where, listen, I thought Jesse was clearly winning early. And then once he slowed down, he really didn't have anything for Broner. Broner didn't respect anything, and Broner walked him down. You know, so he needed a stoppage performance, you know. 
I know it's Humberto Soto. I know he's coming up in weight. I know that he's an older guy, but he's been looking pretty good and um, still a good fight, you know. Jesse's still in the mix of welterweights, you know, for the guys that, like I mentioned before, for the Kel Brooks, for the guys that's not PBC that need a fight, you know, we know all of the PBC guys are trying to get the fights together. We know Thurman is probably going to fight Pacquiao. We know that Spence is going to probably fight Porter next. So these guys like the Terrence Crawford or Kel Brook, the Jesse Vargas, he can get a good scrap. He's always going to be a good scrap. For any of these guys, all right? Well, pretty solid card. I was watching some of the fights on the card. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys subscribe. Peace.